Hello I'm Rahul and today I'm going to talk about selfishness because it is one of the most misunderstood personality trait in our society and a lot of people are actually suffering because of this misunderstanding right from a very young age we are taught to not be selfish to be good to everyone to care about other people's needs and desires and this over emphasis on being good indirectly enforces the idea in us that if we are thinking about our own needs if we are prioritizing our own needs then maybe we are doing something wrong and the problem is that some people have taken this idea too seriously each time they act in an unselfish way by denying themselves of their own needs they are just taking a small dose of poison they are not doing any great deed they are just killing themselves because in a compulsion to act according to the norm of being unselfish they get exploited by other people and without any resistance because resistance means that you have to create frustration in other people and that somehow will result in an idea that you are being bad to people or even if sometimes you put your own needs before others you feel bad because you think that you have done something wrong you start living with the guilt so let's try to understand that how to get rid of this wrong idea of selfishness i'm saying it is wrong because we have not understood what selfishness actually is there is a difference between selfishness and self regard if you are someone who feels exploited by others or lives with a constant burden of guilt i just want to tell you that thinking about yourself or prioritizing your own needs is not selfish it's self regard and there is a huge difference between the two self regard means that you consider your own needs as important as the needs of the other people you don't have to sacrifice your own needs in order to feel that you are a good person in fact loving and caring for oneself is a trait of a good person prioritizing one's need is a trait of a good person without caring for yourself without loving yourself you can never ever manage to do anything substantial in your life because you will always be focusing on the needs of the other people and neglecting yourself so as long as you are not harming other people as long as you are not being mean to other people you have all the right to love yourself without any guilt that's what self regard is selfishness on the other hand is something toxic a pathological need to be extremely self-centered for one's own advantage even if it means exploiting other people doing harm to other people a selfish person never shies away from these things a selfish person might prioritize his own little needs over significant needs of the other people so don't be selfish have a self regard remember you can only love and care for other people if you love and respect yourself without loving yourself it's impossible to love other people first the quality of love has to grow within you only then the fragrance will reach to other people so if you are unpleasant within yourself because of your repressed needs you cannot love anyone you can only pretend to love your love will be pseudo false a deception now i'm not saying that you should become mean and stop caring about others love other people care for others but only if your heart says so if love and care arises in your heart only then it is worth doing because in that loving and caring you will become happier if you care for others not because you love them not because it arises in your heart but just because you want to be appreciated by others just because you want to put up a facade of a socially acceptable norm of being good then you will always feel suffocated then you will love and care for others out of duty and duty is something really ugly duty is something of the mind it is not of the heart so always choose the heart never the mind when it comes to love and care when it comes to joy and happiness heart is the key not the mind so i hope that you have a clear understanding about the difference between selfishness and self regard and from now on you are not going to get confused between these two terms and you will always choose the self regard because it is the first step towards loving yourself and when you love yourself you get into this pleasant state of being and out of that state of being your love spreads like a fragrance only then you can love other people